Good evening, this is Peter Booker, and tonight I'm going to give the forecast for Lynchburg, Virginia on February the 23rd, 2018. I want to talk a little bit of history tonight as well as a new concept for meteorology, and we'll also get to the flooding rains that are occurring in the central part of the country. Now, Iwo Jima, this point in history on, let's say, February to March 1945, a major battle occurred in the South Pacific. And this would lead to the ultimate fall of Japan in World War II. Now, the Battle of Iwo Jima reached a height on February the 23rd when American troops stormed a mountain and reached the highest point, raising the flag of the United States, signaling the end of the war. Now, the current conditions in Lynchburg, we have a temperature of 50 at this time. Our dew point is 45. This makes for a relative humidity of 83%. The winds are currently out of the northeast at 15 miles per hour, and our barometer is showing 30.49 inches and rising. Now, to continue the theme of mountains here, not only with Iwo Jima, but also the cold air damming that we talked about the other night, I wanted to discuss orographic lifting. And this still involves a mountain range, and the Appalachians still play a huge part in this extending from southwest Virginia all the way through, let's say, northeastern Virginia, we have the Blue Ridge Mountains. Now, the Blue Ridge Mountains, they have, let's say, a leeward side and a windward side, and it all depends on the moisture source, in this case being the Atlantic Ocean. Now, moving from, let's say, east to west, the eastern side of the mountains would be highly impacted by moisture. And we can see that in this image here, where the windward side of the mountains has moist air rising as it approaches the mountains. And as it rises up the mountain, it begins to cool and will have condensation occur because of that cooling and therefore rainfall activity on the windward side. Now as the same air that moved over, let's say, the eastern side of the mountains of the Blue Ridge moves to, let's say, the western side, it begins to dry and also warm as it descends on the other side. And what that means is that the clouds that were once there have now dissipated. And the good image to show what happens is this isolated mountain that I found online tonight. And we can see that we have snow on one side, this being the windward side, and nothing at all on the leeward side. So what does this mean for central Virginia and also western por portions of, let's say, the Shenandoah Valley? Uh, this area of green shows anywhere from 45 to 50 inches of rainfall affecting places of like, let's say, Charlottesville, Virginia and Wintergreen Resort. But as you hit, let's say, on the western side of the mountains into Harrisonburg and Stanton, generally less than 38 inches of rain falls per year. So that difference is anywhere from 10 to 15 inches overall. So the next big topic tonight is the rainfall that's occurring over the central part of the country. Now the big deal about this is that over the past week a huge area of two to four inches of rainfall has occurred over Texas expanding north and east into the Ohio Valley. And overnight we're continuing to see rainfall let's say extend out of Texas and move into the Tennessee Valley. This will continue to expand over the next couple of days. Now, meanwhile, to the north and west, we can see ice and snow over Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. And this area of snowfall will likely continue into the Great Lakes overnight. There was another area of snowfall over New York and also over the northeast earlier today. Several areas picking up, let's say, three to five inches of snowfall from that system. Looking at the temperature forecast for Friday, we can see 50s and 60s over the state of Virginia. And temperatures in the 80s, let's say from Georgia south into Florida. Temperatures will likely be in the 40s and 30s tomorrow where they receive snowfall today. And as we hit, let's say, further to the west into North Dakota and South Dakota, we'll likely see our coolest temperatures here. Temperatures struggling to get out of the teens on Friday afternoon. As far as the forecast map for Friday, we have a cold front extending over the state of Virginia and a secondary front, let's say, extending from the Great Lakes south into Texas. And all along these fronts, we'll, we'll see showers and thunderstorms, especially into the Ohio Valley. Um, even some ice, let's say, as you head into southern portions of New York, at least initially uh, during the first part of Friday. And even some snowfall activity over the Great Lakes early tomorrow morning. 
As we into the day Saturday, we can see that cold front really remaining over the same areas, extending through the Ohio Valley into Texas. And on the back side again, we can see ice and snow, and along the front itself, even a few thunderstorms. As we look at the state of Virginia, not much occurring here in the western counties, maybe a few light rain showers in the afternoon. It's not until the day Sunday that we'll really pick up our rainfall. Generally an inch to as much as three to four inches of rainfall could occur over the next three days. Meanwhile in Virginia, I guess the mountains are really helping us this time to block the rain. Um, we'll see anywhere from a quarter to a half an inch of rainfall over the western counties. As you hit, let's say, east towards Richmond, maybe a tenth of an inch, and even further south and eastward into Virginia Beach, generally a few one hundredths of an inch can be expected by Sunday afternoon. Looking at the three-day forecast for Central Virginia on Friday, we'll have a high of 55 and a low of 51. There is a chance of showers early in the morning. Now, as we head into Saturday, we'll have partly cloudy conditions with a high of 75 and a low of 58. There is a chance of rain late in the day. And this continues into Sunday, which will be our best chance of rain. We'll have a high of 70 and a low of 50. Looking into next week, we'll likely have warm temperatures continue, with temperatures being in the 50s and 60s throughout much of next week. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's forecast, going over some of the history as well as a new concept for meteorology. Please leave feedback if you can, and have a great Friday.